This is Anigubic Cobra Max, 3D printer that has huge printing volume and automatic pad leveling. I'm really happy that Anigubic gave me the opportunity to review this printer. So this is my honest opinion of this printer. Let's get started. Unboxing. Pretty basic. The printer is in box in two pieces. The top side and the bottom side. A bunch of protective material and a bag of everything that you need for assembly, maintenance and printing. About assembly, it will be really quick because the printer is basically pre-assembled. All that you need to do is to screw top piece to the bottom piece, attach the screen with 3 bolts, add the glass print pad, little wiring that is not possible to mess up because the wires are already there where they have to go. It'll take you around 15 minutes. By the way, those things that hold the wires in place, obviously don't remove those, they have to be there. I also didn't think those are just for shipping and I didn't rip those off first thing when I got this printer out of the box. If you need the instructions for the assembly, the manual that is included is really detailed and easy to understand. Also even more detailed manual is on the SD card that comes with the printer. Here is even step by step tutorial how to set up this printer in Cura. Also the Cura profile is included with the SD card. But now the printer is ready to go, so let's start printing. Actually one thing has to be done more, pad leveling, automatic pad leveling. The really first time the calibration is needed. Just push the nozzle with something slightly and it's done. The automatic pad leveling is pretty fast and it seems to work because the first layer is at the perfect height. The first model that I am printing is included with SD card and it's supposed to be an owl. Really first things that I immediately notice. This printer is extremely quiet. Stepper motors doing zero noise, also the fans are really quiet. The noisiest things are the print cooling fans. This printer has two fans cooling the print and when they spin at the full speed, those ones are possible to hear. Nothing crazy though. This printer is fast. I don't know how fast exactly this all was printed, but by the way, I can say it was pretty fast. And the print surface works a bit too well. But now it's time to slice my own models, so let's do it. Those are the models that I have printed so far. This green owl I printed again because I broke the first one. But the end result is exactly the same and it turned out really nice. But the first print that I sliced is this cobra. Overall it turned out really nice. But if you look closely at the one side of the tail, there are little bit blobs and strings. But it's not a really big deal. But still I am really happy how this model turned out. The next print was the traditional Benji boat. Again it's really nice print but there are some strings and blobs mostly inside the cabin. The top surfaces turned out really well, the roof and the floor of the deck looks really nice and they are really smooth. The bottom side turned out also great, the text is readable and the surface is nice and smooth for the bottom side. I give this Benchy 8.5 points out of 10. Empire State Building. This one I printed with 100mm per second. Let's start from the bottom. The first half centimeter didn't turn out so well. First of all, those stripes didn't turn out really nice and between those are a lot of blobs again. And at this one corner happened under extrusion. It happened only here. If you move up, it looks just fine. If you move up even more, where the antenna start, well this is perfect. The beginning of the antenna and those things at the side, I don't know what those are, supports for antenna maybe. Anyway, this is perfect. I don't see any smallest imperfection in this area. And I also printed a bit bigger model with 0.4mm nozzle. Actually here is something that a bit annoyed me. This is a big printer and use volcanic nozzles. This printer can easily handle 1mm or 1.2mm nozzles, but only one extra 0.4mm nozzle was included. And this made me pretty sad because this is my really first printer that used volcanic nozzles and I just don't have any of those. 
so I cannot use bigger nozzles in this video because I just don't have. There was not even 0.8mm nozzle included, that is coming with the most of the printers. This pole took me 13 hours to print and again it's really nice print but there is just a little bit strings added up. By the way this pole is for sunflower seeds, whoever made this <laughs> you are genius. And in my last video I built this RC tractor, this is not finished yet but this big black part is printed with Cobra Max also. Like I have told before, this printer volume is huge, 400 times 400 times 450 millimeters to be exact, and this huge printing bed need an automatic bed leveling, that this printer nicely has, and it works. C-axis has two stepper motors, one for both sides, uh, obviously. To hold X-axis nicely leveled all the time, C-axis traded rods are connected with timing belt. Even more stability adds two belts that move I-axis aka printing bed back and forward. Also you can easily tighten the X and I-axis belts if needed. Print cooling is nuts, this printer has two turbo fans both sides of the hot end, that are heightened by this really nicely designed cover. Dual gear extruder and the housing is transparent. It can be really handful if you are printing flexible filaments and some jam happen, you can easily see where and what exactly going on. This touchscreen is so great, I love it. First of all this screen is big, it's responsive and the user interface is so great, it's easy to use, it's nicely designed and has everything that you need. You also can tweak some print settings while printing and adjust bed leveling if the bed is too close or too high. This printer maximum nozzle temperature is 260 degrees and bed, well I did the test by myself but I got 100 degrees after waiting a bit. Technically this printer can print ABS but it's not enclosed so... ABS need enclosure. They claim that this printer can print ABS and TPU. You know, let's test this. But I skip ABS, instead I test nylon. I think this is the best TPU Octopus that I have ever printed, absolutely amazing. Also this printer succeeded with nylon, those strings look really bad I know, but the nylon loved to string and this is more about filament. But those three random bars that I printed turned out really well again. I am not afraid to say this printer can handle nylon without a problem. Ok so for who I can recommend this printer? For absolutely everyone who is looking for peak printing volume and reliable printer that just get the job done. But of course this printer offers way more than just that. Even if you are a complete beginner, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't be your first printer. Really last thing to speak about is this printer price, it's $569, I believe it's fair, this printer deserves this. By the way just saying there is also a smaller version of this printer called Just Cobra. I hope you enjoyed my quick review of Anigubi Cobra Max, or at least it was helpful. Big big thank you for watching and see you guys really soon, bye.